All right, you guys, we need to talk about my brush with death. So if you are new here, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style and now natural hair care. So if you were into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel. Click the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So yes, I was being dramatic, but I do just want to talk about it because it's kind of funny. And I did get a free pair of shoes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I guess this is like a story time, which is like my first one ever. So you guys know that I wanted to return the white Aritzia blouse from my collective haul. If you didn't watch that or if you're interested, I will leave that down below. There is now an Aritzia at South Park Mall, which is in Charlotte. You guys know that I live in the Carolinas, right? So you know, you guys know how I dress. I did have on heels and I did have on a stiletto, right? So I can get to the Aritzia store by way of Nordstrom's. You know how like at a mall, you have like the department stores, like the anchor stores, and then you have like the rest of the stores, right? If I park at Nordstrom, it's a straight shot to Aritzia, right? So I'm on the second floor, I'm on the second part of the garage, I'm coming down the escalator, I have my cell phone is in my bag, I have the Aritzi bag and then I have my I have my purse, right? I'm going down the escalator and it's time for me to exit the escalator, right? I take my left foot, I'm successful, right? I successfully, my, my left foot successfully gets off the escalator. My right foot is a different story. I'm not really sure what happened. And I had on like a stiletto, it was like a pump. It's like the it's like the red bottom Ariza. So it's just like your typical classic pump. It comes all the way around and then like on the inside is kind of like a slit. So it's like a separation of the shoe, right? The left foot is successful, fine. I pick up my right foot. My right foot is bare. There is no shoe on it. And I hear this loud pop. And by the time I turn around and realize like my entire shoe has been engulfed by, or the entire stiletto part of my shoe has been like eaten or engulfed by the escalator. And then the escalator just stops. So I'm there just kind of looking around. I really know what's going on. Cause it just, it happens so fast. I'm trying to pull it out. And like the store manager runs up to me and he was like, oh my God, I saw everything. Are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm a little flustered. And to be honest, I was more so embarrassed, right? So, you know, he asked me, and there's like a long, there's like a long table right next to the escalator, the down escalator. It's like, okay, I just want to make sure you're okay. Have a seat. So here I am with my shoes stuck in the escalator, right? And I'm sitting in, you know, this long table and I'm sitting in a chair. My left foot has a shoe on, my right foot doesn't. People are walking by and taking pictures. I had another sales associate come up to me. Oh my, oh my God, are you okay? You want something to drink? You want some coffee? You want some water? Do you need a sock? And I was like, no, I'm fine. This lady like decked out in Chanel. <laughs> I have no idea where she came from, but this lady like decked out in Chanel. She was like, oh my God, are you okay? I see it's a red bottom, are you okay? I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. People are passing by and snickering and taking photos and I'm just sitting there like with one shoe and it's just, it happens so fast. So then of course the risk manager, the risk manager comes over. He asked me if I'm okay. He asked me for my information and things like that, right? All the while, I have somewhere to be. I think I arrived maybe at like 11.45. I have somewhere to be at one. Um, at this point, I think it was maybe like 12 o'clock, maybe like 11.50. I mean, I literally went to the mall to return the blouse and leave out because I had somewhere to be, right? The risk manager comes over, everything is seamless. And for those of you who don't know, I am in insurance, so I was expecting that. Um, I'll probably get a call from their risk management because when you have like large companies like that, especially retail stores, their insurance is typically in-house. It's called risk management, right? Um, it's kind of the same thing as if it may be if you were like in a store, let's say you were in Macy's and a shelf falls on you, right? Maybe you have to go to the, you know, the emergency room. Maybe you have like, you have to go to the ambulance. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to open a claim and they're going to compensate you for whatever it is that you had lost. You know, it might be some time off work. It might be, you know, let's say the shelf fell and it hit you on the head and you had to get stitches and you now have a hospital bill. They're going to compensate you for that. Of course, they're going to do their investigation, but because it happened in store and to no fault of your own, they're going to compensate you for that. In this situation, I lost a shoe. I mean, yes, I still have the right, the right, the left part of the shoe, the left pair of the shoe, but I don't have the right. 
Um, so the maintenance guy comes over and he takes his key. And if you're not familiar with it, escalator, it can actually go backwards, but it's supposed to be like you can do it or control it with a key. So he sticks there. Mind you, my shoe is still in there and people are still passing by. And I guess at this point, people are realizing that I, it's, it's me. I have no shoe on my right foot, right? So he takes the key and he twists it. It's not going anywhere. So then I guess the next electrician guy, the next IT guy comes. He's like, okay, well, let me try to reverse it and reset it from the control room. He does that. He comes back and he's like, it's not working. It's just, it's just not working. We're actually going to, we're actually going to have to call the escalator people. So they're talking to the manager and he's the store manager. They're talking to the manager and he's like, I hope you don't have anywhere to go because this is going to take a while. I was like, I actually do have somewhere to go. And he was like, okay, give me one second. So I guess he's like trying to figure out what he's going to do or how he's going to compensate me or something like that. So while he goes away, somebody else comes up to me and was like, oh my God, I saw it. Are you okay? I mean, the customer service at Nordstrom, for me personally, and especially the one at North Lake, North Lake, at South Park, has always been top notch, right? So people are asking me if I'm okay, can they get me anything? And really, I'm just sitting there mortified and embarrassed because it just happened so quickly, right? So then the manager comes back over and he's like, you have somewhere to be, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, what's your size? I was like, you know, 35 and a half or 36. So it takes him maybe like five, 10 minutes. And out of my peripheral, I see this man with a red bottom box or a Christian Louboutin box, right? I mean, I own about six pairs, so I know what the box looks like. He walks over and he's like, do you like these shoes? I'm like, well, these are too big. He's like, okay, give me a couple more minutes. He walks over with two, with two, other, with two other Christian Louboutin boxes, right? The first one was a round toe. I was like, I don't... I don't really like those. <laughs> and then he pulls out the second pair, which is the 36. And if you're not familiar, they are the hot chick and they are the 100 mm. Anytime I see a hot chick shoe, it's always like a 111 or 105 or a 120. Just something I'm not going to wear. It's just ridiculous, right? I would probably say 100 is the equivalent to what? Maybe like a four or four and a half inch heel. So he takes them out of the box. They're new. He has me try them on and he says, give me one second. I'll bring them up and you can be on your way. Now, I am fully aware that I am wearing red bottoms. You guys know my favorite pair of red bottoms. They are from the nude collection. They are my nude. So the shoes are no more. I mean, the shoe is destroyed. But it was just, so I'm, I'm aware that I'm wearing red bottoms, right? I was expecting him to bring over maybe something like Aquatelia or Sam Edelman or Jessica Simpson or Steve Madden. This man brings over a new pair of red bottom, rings them up, gives me the box, gives me the, sh gives me the shoe bag, gives me the extra taps, and I leave the store. I'm aware that I'm wearing Christian Louboutins. I'm aware that I'm wearing red bottoms, but I just wasn't expecting to get them right there and then, because typically how it would work with something like that, like I spoke to you earlier about the risk management. They would file the claim, they would do their investigation. I took pictures, the risk manager took pictures or the electrician took pictures. So you would, I would be able to, you know, confirm, they'd be able to confirm their story through their discovery, through their investigation, right? And then typically what would happen would say, okay, well go ahead and, you know, send me a receipt of what you pay for these shoes and then we will reimburse you, right? I just wasn't expecting to get these shoes right there and then, right? I just wanted to share the experience because the customer service was exemplary, right? In a time of e-commerce, in a time of all of these just very terrible and weird customer service, you know, stories, the customer service was exemplary. It was amazing. So much so that I went back today to return the blouse and I actually asked for his GM, his email or something. I'm just going to send a very short email thanking him for just being attentive, being sympathetic and getting me on my way and compensating me right there and then, right? So of course you guys wanna see the shoes, right? That's the whole point of this, this video. There is nothing wrong with my foot. My foot is fine. I called my mother. She was, you know, she was in a mediation. She's like, oh my God, my daughter's calling me. So I told her the story. She's like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm fine. I called David. He was like, oh my God, what happened? Are you okay? Let me see. You know, 
my foot is fine the only thing that i will say and this is about the shoes but it's not the only thing that i will say is that i'm just really glad that the shoes that i had on did not have a strap because this would be a very different story right i could have a broken foot i could have a crushed foot right so here is the box and they are the hot chicks 100 they are patent leather doesn't mind doesn't bother me and i have always loved the hot chicks they have a very beautiful silhouette but every time i see them they're just too high and ridiculous right but <laughs> here they are they're gorgeous and i did actually wear them out of the store i had to because i did not have you know this is my my replacement and it's just these right here gorgeous right here's this side and you see i've already worn them and here's this side and then here is the bottom and i did get a 36. the toe box does need to be broken in a little bit but after i wear them a couple times they'll be fine we always hear this thing about how uncomfortable christian louboutins or red bottoms are i will say that these are actually not that uncomfortable okay they're sturdy the ones that i was wearing the arizas there's they seem a little bit more sturdier than that right so this is the shoe and this is the other shoe and then here is the box the box here is the bag and then here is the tap there is no receipt in here i did not pay for these shoes he rung them up i, I tried them on he rung them up and i was on my way okay but i just wanted to share the story with my, my little brush with death i'm fine but like i said I just wanted to share the story. I wanted to share the shoe. I, I did get a free pair of shoes, but it's, you know, it's how, you know, attentive, how empathetic and how someone just really cared and, you know, compensated me. And he wasn't just the only one. Like I said, I had other people rushing to me and asking me if I was okay. I'm fine. My foot is fine. Okay. I just wanted to share that story. This is my, my first story time. So while I am absolutely bummed um, that I no longer have those pair of shoes, that does leave an opportunity for me to, you know, support another small business because there are several businesses now that actually do nude. For Christian Louboutin, that was very much a collection. I don't know if they're going to bring that back. Um, it did very well for them. So I would assume maybe like in the next couple of years, they might bring it back. But there are just so many other websites that I'll be able to look at now and get another pair of my nude shoes. Um, let me know in the comments if this has ever happened to you. Um, as I said, it just happened so quickly. My foot, like I said, my left foot made it. It was fine. My right foot was just my foot, my shoe. I heard the pop. I turned around and the elevator was stopped. So let me know in the comments if something like this has ever happened to you. Um, that's really it. That's my story time um yeah that's it let me know if this has ever happened to you let me know if something like this and not even an escalate just like a little freak accident has ever happened to you share in the comments okay but i just want to remind you that here on youtube i do upload videos every wednesday and sunday and right here or right here i'll put my instagram handle thank you so much for hanging out with me you guys bye we always have it coming